Tom, you're in the you're in the big leagues now, brother. You're behind the lens. We got Big Tom on the camera today. All right, you got to give this guy some love. Jack's going to be so mad. So what do we have today? I'm told it's a new and special smartphone from Huawei. But beyond that, I don't know why the box is so big. I don't know what's so special. I know in the past we've done some pretty cool unboxing experiences. There was that briefcase they sent. It was like a secret agent style briefcase for the P9. Maybe they're trying to step it up a notch. I know that Tom knows what's going on here, but I was like, don't show me. Keep it a secret. Let's find out exactly what's happening on camera with the audience. So let's crack this open and see what's happening here. Like I said, a box this large for a smartphone, you know something's up. You know something's going on. Whoa. Woo Unbox therapy. Carve into a wooden crate. Oh, that smell is fresh. Real fresh. What is that? Cedar? I don't know. I don't know much about wood, but wood is good. There's buttons on the front. Golden buttons? Oh man. It's about to be a Pulp Fiction moment right here. That's the way I prefer it. I don't want to know. Give me the... Give me the splash. Three, two, one. Oh. Whoa. The way that thing jumped up, I think I could do that all day. Is that hydraulics? Oh. There's a brand new Huawei P10 in there. This is one of a kind, a one of a kind unboxing experience. Oh. The Huawei P10. I don't know, am I like the first person in the world to have this right now? Quite possibly. And just like the P9, we've got the Leica affiliation on the dual camera system as well. Yeah, let's get this baby open. This one is like, oh, oh, that's cool on its own. With magnets, oh. I get excited about the weirdest things. Well, you know that, that's why you're watching this. Who? Oh, I got it in the blue again. You love the sound effect here. Whoa, what is this finish on the back? Can you tell? It's almost like that kind of holographic. Is that the right terminology, holographic? That is cool. Now, the entire body feels metallic to me, but it's like polished. It almost feels like ceramic or something. As you look around the device, you'll notice here you have a USB Type-C connector, traditional headphone jack, which some people are looking for. Now, something I like that they've done here with the power switch, the lock switch, it's got a kind of texture to it. So you can tell the difference in your pocket between the volume rocker and that switch. I also notice it's got a red accent on there. Hopefully Tom can pick that up. Do you see that red there? Listen to this. You hear that? So they add back the grip on the very back of the device where you're gonna be holding it. All right, let's put this to the side for a moment. Look at the other items inside the box. A SIM tool. Once again, you have the dual SIM tray. You can have either two SIM cards for different regions, different carriers, whatever you want, or you can have one SIM card and a micro SD card in there to expand your storage. I really wish every manufacturer just had this tray right here. Oh, they included a case, interesting. So you don't see that all the time and it keeps the pattern on the back. Let's try it on. You don't have to go out and buy a case if you're the type of person who likes to keep a case on it. They've got one in the box, that's a nice little touch. Dual lens, secondary microphone, dual tone flash, laser sensor. Now they've also included a headset. It's kind of a pod style, if you know what I'm saying. You have a USB type C cable, supercharged power brick. So that's gonna be a quick charge compatible to get juice to your phone more quickly. I just noticed it says Swift key installed for the keyboard. I don't know if I've seen that before, not pre-installed at least. So this is the fingerprint scanner now. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna just enroll it here. All right, let's test out that scanner. Whoa, wait a sec. Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna be the fastest. It's like, it's, there's zero lag. It's just, whoo. As you can see here, we have 
very unique look. It's kind of in line with the design of the device, especially with this color. Now let's go ahead and launch the camera. There's a number of options in here. If you swipe over to this side, there's the photo mode, the monochrome mode, of course, video, night shot, light painting. Like, there's a lot that you can do in here. Regardless of what you're trying to do creatively, like there's a few different ways of doing that within this particular app. Obviously, we're gonna do a perfect selfie. I always wonder how they're gonna make this look beautiful. I'm always a little bit concerned. Oh my goodness, Tom, look at this man right here. Are, you, are we still able to hang out after this, if that's the guy right there? <laughs> okay, so obviously with these features, the intention is not to go overboard. All right, manage your beauty mode accordingly. Maybe a couple notches. I know you guys, tech heads and so on, are gonna be far more interested in the main camera. So this camera is where things get interesting. If I click this little button and enable the wide aperture, you might be wondering like, why, what is this area that's in focus, out of focus? Why would I want some kind of feature like that? Well. The goal for a lot of people in working with depth of field is to concentrate your focus when you look at an image at a particular section of that image. So controlling depth of field allows you to do that. It says, oh, here's what I want you to look at. It's the camera right here. As opposed to all the clutter and other things that exist out here, you can kind of like just, just narrow in the person's focus on where you want them to look. Again, it's a subjective thing, like how much of it is too much too little, but the goal with these dual lens systems is to essentially give you a feature that was previously only available on large cameras, you know, digital SLRs, where you'd have to install a giant aperture, big piece of glass on the end of it in order to create those kind of effects. Now, obviously you're not gonna stick that in your pocket, so manufacturers have found a way with these dual lens systems to create a similar effect. Adding features like this just changes the way that people think about photos. It's not just like pull it out and snap it. Like all of a sudden now you're out in nature. You're like looking at some tree bark. You're, you're a professional, you're an instant professional. A guy like Tom could do it. Okay, maybe not Tom. This is pretty cool. You can, you can go into a pro video mode couple of different autofocus modes and you can even go into manual focus on video on a phone which is pretty cool in camera automatic video and I'm gonna move in here ever so slightly all right so what are the takeaways here you got a cool camera system dual lens system building on top of what happened with the p9 now in the p10 with a, a slightly different look to it as well some of those same cool features protected in this device including the shallow depth of field that you can create. And now you have this completely different texture that I've never seen before on a smartphone. It's got an octa-core processor in it, which is also gonna make it snappier than the previous version. And when it comes to quickness, I mean the fingerprint thing, that's like, that's instantaneous. Look at this. Ding, 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 ding. So there you have it, the P10 unveiled on Unbox Therapy. Shout out to Huawei, not just for letting me look at this early, but also sending it out in such a cool... Look at this thing! You kidding me? They're stepping the game up. Everybody else, did, did you wanna send me something? I want fresh wood. There's still maple syrup dripping off of here. It's the key to my heart and they know it.